Hi everyone, welcome to Audubon at Home. My name is Iana, and this week we are talking and learning all about shorebirds. Shorebirds are really interesting birds. They spend most of their time right by the ocean on our beautiful beaches that we have tons of here in New England. So some examples of shorebirds are piping plovers, sandpipers, and terns. This week we're learning all about shorebird habitat and why New England is such an important place for these birds. If you go to the beach this summer, you might notice some of these signs around our beaches and some of these fenced in areas. Well, these fenced areas are very important. These signs are put up by US Fish and Wildlife and DEM to protect these nesting shorebirds. Lots of shorebirds use these rocky and sandy areas to make their nests and lay their eggs. Their eggs will camouflage really well with all these small pebbles and the speckled color of the sand. So they can be really hard to spot and this helps them from being eaten by predators. Here is a picture of a piping plover nest. Can you see the bird? Can you see the eggs? How about the chicks? Look how well the bird and the eggs and the chicks are able to camouflage with the sand and the stones around them. Predators. Whenever you see these signs, be nice and aware that this area is protected to keep those birds and their eggs safe. So make sure you're staying on the outside of these fenced in areas. It's pretty easy to tell which side you're supposed to be on. Make sure you're following all of the beach regulations. These nests are so small and the babies are very helpless when they're first born and it can be really easy to accidentally step on them. So we wouldn't want to accidentally hurt any of these birds or their nests and it's very important that they're able to reproduce here and then migrate back to where they spend the winter in the fall. Here's a clip I took when I was working out on the Cape where there are a ton of nesting shorebirds of a piping plover warning us that there is a plover nest nearby. Now I was under special permits to be allowed to be this close to the birds. Normally you should not get this close. If you accidentally get too close, the bird will warn you and this is what it will do to let you know you're too close to its nest. Thank you for joining us for Audubon at Home.